Hello, so today I thought we'd have a quick play with the jelly plate. Um, I've done some tissue tape with rice paper, very fine rice paper. I've done some tape with deli paper, which is this type of thing. It's actually more of an American thing. Um, I bought this at a, a workshop years ago and it's waxed on one side and not on the other and I've made some tape with double sided tape uh, with some of this that I've printed with distress oxides it's you can get it on Amazon it's not the easiest thing to get hold of and you never know quite what the quality is like until you get it so I thought I would try an alternative so I have this it looks like vellum but it is actually tissue paper um, not tissue paper tracing paper it's this one it's um, a4 tracing paper pad crawford and black which is basically the works so there's 30 sheets just in a pad and then you can just rip them out so i thought we'd have a go and see what happens when we use that. So I've got, let's see, I've got hickory smoke, and I've got my distress oxides out. Hickory smoke, rusty hinge, walnut stain, and vintage photo. I'll also get my small brayer, this little one. And I've got just a, a little mister. So we'll start with hickory smoke, I think. And we'll just add quite a bit onto there. Now, if I put my paper on now, I'd get all the square marks from the edges of the ink pad. So I'm just going to brayer it out a little bit. Now what I will do is I'm going to have one of our pieces of tracing paper at the side and brayer off onto it just to see what I get because this is all an experiment. So I've got that. I'm going to spray it with Move that out of the way. Just a light misting of water. And then I'm going to pop that down. It is curling. I don't know whether this tracing paper will accept the ink. It is all an experiment. So we'll then take it off. And put it to one side. I've got some normal plain paper that I've been mopping up ink with as well. So we'll mop up the surplus ink with that. Just doesn't clean our plate but it just adds a bit to one of these sheets of paper. There's a little bit left on there, but I think it's mostly dry. I'll just dry that a little bit and then it doesn't get onto this ink pad. I'll go on with the rusty hinge. And if you're worried about contaminating the tops of your 
ink pads with any ink that's already on there. All I do is just get a sponge and that will just wipe it off. Because the ink's suspended, it isn't going to migrate down into the rest of the ink pad. There we are. Put that aside. Oh, there's a little bit of moisture still on here. So we'll try this dry. And see what happens. It has wrinkled quite a bit as the tracing paper. I actually don't mind because sometimes wrinkles add a bit more texture. So that's quite nice. The wrinkles have made lovely texture. We've still got some of our ink on here. So we'll go back with our plain paper jelly print. And that's got a few more interesting marks on there. It's making that a little bit more interesting than it was. Yeah. So, let's see, we've got another piece of plain... Oh, this is the other piece of tracing paper that was that I brayed the ink off. I don't know if that's picked anything up, probably not. I'll just pop that down and bray them off the ink. So we'll try a little bit, we've got rusty hinge and hickory smoke, we'll try a little bit of vintage photo, embrayer it so it's smooth. Still a little bit damp, so again we'll just press it on, press the wrinkles down. And that should pick up something else. There we are, yes. So if I put that, I'll just get a piece of... There we are. So you can see it's got some nice interesting marks on it. That's actually the side with the ink on. That is the other side. So they're two completely different ones because this is oxidised. So I'm going to have a go and make some tissue tape out of this and then I'll show you the results. So we've got our two pieces of tracing paper. I've put double-sided tape on the back. This is, this is the side that has the ink on. So on the back I've put the double-sided tape. And to make it so that it's easier for getting the backing off, I then a couple of strips of paper, just normal thickness, this is just old wallpaper, at the ends onto the double sided tape. You can see them underneath there. So that when you want to get the double sided tape off and use it, it's a lot easier. So if you're trying to get it off something like um, tracing paper or tissue paper, it's very difficult. So I've that done that with both pieces of tracing paper 
I then, because I wanted to seal the ink which is on the top surface, I put a thin layer, get hold of it, of this Vaseline lip balm. I applied that with a little brush. Well, a dedicated brush. I just get a little bit of the lip balm on my brush, work it into the brush by just swirling it round in the lid. Let's move that out of the way. And then I just cover the top with a very thin layer of the wax, of the lip balm. And because it's got Vaseline in it, it seals the Distress Oxides in there. Once I've put a thin layer of that on, the lip balm on, just to remove any excess, I just wipe over with a piece of kitchen roll. A little bit of the ink does come off but mostly it seals it. So if I spray this with water, I don't know if you can see this, it beads up rather than diluting the ink and reactivating the ink. So we'll just dry that off again, put that away. So I'm going to do that with the other one, put a little coat on already but I'll just put a little bit more on. There is another video um, all about creating tissue tape with thin rice paper on my YouTube channel. Brush away, another little bit of the kitchen roll, and just wipe it up. You do lose a little bit of your ink, but it more or less stabilizes it so it isn't going to be reactive. The tissue, the tracing paper, was very wrinkled. But I actually like the fact that it gives texture to this tape. So I don't know if you can see, it is now a little bit... It's not matte and it's not shiny, it's got, just got a little bit of a sheen to it. So I'll just cut through the end pieces of paper. And I've just cut up where I know, I'll show you on the back, it'll be easier, where I know that it is in between the strips of the double sided tape. Then I just put my finger on the edge of one piece of double sided tape and rip. I'll take that other edge off. And there we are, you have your unique individual tracing paper tape which is coloured with distress oxides. I'll just trim that little bit off. You can trim between the different strips and have it perfectly straight. I actually quite like the edge as it is when it's torn because it's just a little bit more texture. So as you can see, that's got a nice lot of texture on both edges. Just quickly do these. That one. That one. If you've got a reasonable amount of tracing paper at the edge, you can get rid of the surplus like that. So I do prefer it with the two 
edges that are nice and crinkly. A bit like a deckle edge. Now if you wanted to stamp on this, because it's got the Vaseline on it, I would use stays on ink um, and make sure that you leave it to dry for a nice long time um, because stays on will go onto all surfaces. But if I just put a little bit of this onto a piece of white paper, I've just got some scrap here. This is just tea stained paper. Let's see which bit shall we do. We'll do this one. So this is just tea stained paper. So you turn it onto the back and it makes it easier to get the double sided tape off because you've got the normal paper. So it peels off quite easily. And once you've got it started you can get rid of your normal paper but keep it in case you want to put it back on. So here we are. Go on to the tea stained paper. And that's what your tape looks like. I'll just get a little bit of book page. This is an old diary which I got for 50p. It was water damaged and I've got this little bit left. Get the normal paper off, and then if we go on there, you can see you can see through it, and you get the text through it, which is really nice. So it's a tape which is translucent, and you can see the under texture. But if you just want to see the tape, you just put it onto the plane. I'll just quickly do the black one and then you can see what that's turned out like. So again we're just going to go in between the strips of double sided. Put my fingers really close to the edge of the tape that I aren't pulling up and then it doesn't remove the tape from the, uh, the tracing paper from the tape. The last one you can just do like this. looks quite camouflage -y, like a camouflage effect. So we'll try this one onto there. So I'll just get the backing off. off because I don't want that fancy paper. And then we'll go on there. And again just tear the end bit off. So there we are. We've got our nice tape 
and you can, as you can see if you put it onto something with text or texture or anything like that on it's translucent so you can see it through so I could then if I wanted to use this just leave a little bit of an edge just need another little bit of an edge collage fodder. So we've got our tracing paper tape stuck onto some book pages. That's the black one, this is the vintage photo and rusty hinge one. This is just onto normal tea stained paper. I wanted a little bit more interest on it so all I did was to use a couple of indigo blue little limited edition stamps. This one's numbers, this one's letters and some stays on black ink just to stamp onto them. Let it dry and then I just gave it a bit of a buff up just to make sure there wasn't any undry ink. But I did let it dry for quite a while and this is the result. I think it looks absolutely lovely. This is a, a jelly print I did with Distress Oxides in similar colours. It's just roughly cut, it needs cutting to fit a card blank. But if you can imagine that going across and then just a topper with maybe Happy Birthday or something on. Or something like this one coming across with happy birthday in black at the top there. That would be a nice card for a gentleman. Nice and grungy and looks textured but is absolutely flat. There's another, this is just a roll off and mop up uh, print from Jelly Printing. But again you can see how it works rather nicely with that. So I hope you enjoy that and give it a go.